Hey, what's up? My name is Dave, and as you know, I interpret everything. Today I'm going to be interpreting Sleep, a Korean horror mystery film that ultimately follows a young woman becoming increasingly worried about her husband's sleepwalking activities in the middle of the night, convinced he might be getting possessed by a ghost while he sleeps. No matter how many safety measures that they set up in the house to keep everybody safe, he always seems to find a different way to cause another problem. And when she gives birth, she has to figure out what to do to keep her newborn safe. Originally released last year in mostly local cinemas and a festival circuit, Sleep is becoming a lot more widely available for people worldwide just recently, hence me only reviewing this now. But if you're a fan of Korean horror films, I guarantee you'll love it. It even comes with praise from fellow Korean horror director Bong Joon-ho, who called this movie the smartest debuts he'd seen in 10 years, and I can personally understand why. There's a really eerie atmosphere felt throughout the film that borrows real-world fears that people actually have. It's like having the fear of the dark, even though the lights are on. Having the focus lie primarily on the wife in the film is an interesting vantage point because whatever's actually happening throughout the film isn't happening to her, but to her husband. And the very fact that we don't see this through his eyes is an interesting directing choice, but there's a message throughout the film about overcoming obstacles, whatever they might be, together. So even though this thing is mostly just happening to this guy, you feel as though it's affecting the woman just as bad. You see her physically change throughout the film as she's staying up, either through worry or fear. She's getting dark circles under her eyes. And through lack of sleep, she's also starting to make illogical choices and cannot think very clearly. And it's this lack of logic on her part that forces the audience to decide on their own what's actually happening. Is the husband truly possessed by a ghost? Or is it all in her head? Is he just a normal sleepwalker? And are his actions simply made worse by an overreactive wife? This is the first truly compelling sleep horror film since A Nightmare on Elm Street. And for some, it'll be difficult to not at least in some part compare the two, as the horror itself gets to be so wild, specifically while the husband sleeps, that you might hope he figures out a way not to sleep as long as possible, which is something they often did in the Elm Street films. Instead, the film opts to go a different direction basically baby-proofing the entire house to keep him out of trouble, but nothing seems to ultimately work. In general, there's a lot to love with sleep, from the performances of our leads to some of the visuals. The first half of the film deals a lot more so with eerie visuals brought on by really well-planned-out cinematography, while the latter half of the film, I would actually argue, went with more of a practical approach, opting to lean more heavily on set designs, which works as well as it does because of everything that came before it. This is a film that operates rather well through rising tension, whether you believe the man's possessed or not. While not everybody can relate to sleepwalking specifically, you'll probably be able to relate to other sleep-related problems such as night terrors, insomnia, fear of the dark, hearing noises like house settling, not really knowing where those noises are originating from. This movie approaches pretty much all of that really well because it knows you'll be able to relate to something in that ballpark, and because of that, you'll also probably get a kick out of the film as a whole. It's not for everybody, I guess, but again, if you're a fan of Korean horror, there's no reason you won't enjoy this. In my opinion, Koreans have been a mile ahead of us in horror for a very long time. Just look at Parasite, which literally won Best Picture at the 2020 Academy Awards, as well as three other Oscars that year. Horror films do not get that kind of accolades in the States. And I get that Parasite wasn't fully horror so much as it was a psychological thriller, but it was close enough in my opinion. But ultimately, I will be rating Sleep in A+. Minus. I was kind of going back and forth in my head from B plus to A minus, but the more that I thought about it, the less negatives I could find with the film as a whole. If anything, maybe some of the pacing was a bit slower than it should be, especially for a movie as short as this film was. But at the end of the day, it's a very small complaint for an otherwise brilliant film that deserves to be seen by more people. But what about you guys? Have you seen Sleep? Were you a fan of it? Were you not? In your opinion, what's the best sleep horror film that exists? And as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with the next movie review, whatever and whenever that may be. But until then, peace out.